Hello and welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. This is Pradesh. I'm back with another video. This video is about uh, the concept of secrets. What is secrets management in an enterprise world? And uh, why is it important? Uh, and what are the key scenarios that it comes into play and picture? So without uh, further ado, let's get started. To begin with, to understand the concept of secrets, let's understand what kinds of secrets there are in an enterprise. And uh, followed by that, we'll cover some of the key scenarios where these secrets come into picture. So I've uh, taken the liberty of uh, uh, classifying the types of secrets in, in a few uh, areas. Doesn't mean that there are only these types of secrets. There may be other form of secrets, but these are the most used ones and most common ones uh, uh, for, for an enterprise. So let's start with the basic uh, and the most uh, known secret, which is essentially a password. Right. So password could be password access to a user, password could be password access to an application or any kind of a, a environment that a user puts in to get access to data. Right. That's, that's essentially a password. Uh, second kind of secret is uh, could be an API token. So an API token uh, essentially uh, allows uh, a company or, or uh, a set of infrastructure uh, with specific software uh, to access a third party application. APIs are nothing but a connector which connects uh, a primary application to something which is outside an environment typically needed for uh, an, a business use case. For example, uh, a bank would use an API, uh, you know, uh, kind of a methodology to connect to a merchant which could be a third party merchant to let's say process credit card payments right so typically that's how uh, apis are defined by use case and uh, by third party software which essentially serves a specific business purpose a third kind of secret could be a certificate right so uh, it could be any kind of certificate which allows uh, essentially uh, a certificate of let's say authenticity for something that a user or an administrator is doing to make sure that everybody in the, in the company or an environment in the infrastructure environment is aware that the, the the task under operation is actually authorized and it's not being done by someone who shouldn't be doing that uh, as, a, as an activity right so that's one of the uh, examples of how a certificate can be used uh, next one is essentially encryption keys. So um, an encryption key is uh, is uh, essentially something that is utilized uh, to uh, encrypt and then essentially decrypt as well for uh, uh, you know for a, a specific sensitive data in an organization. Right. So it could be uh, credit card information. It could be uh, social security numbers or personal identified, personally identifiable information for uh, specific uh, individuals, customers or even, uh, you know, employees within the company. And that's what encryption key, uh, you know, is typically used for. Uh, last but not the least, there could be something known as database passwords or um, also used uh, in in any form of application environment, database are databases are where most of the information is stored for a given application, uh, and it accesses uh, itself through a backend. So these passwords uh, essentially allow access for uh, the DevOps engineers or or somebody who's architecting the application to access uh, what's in the database, right? So it could be sensitive information, could be storage for all the application that uh, that exists. So. These are some of the types of secrets which, which do exist. Now, to put into context, all of these things are extremely important for an organization, understand, understandably so. And uh, this is why you need to manage all of these secrets very efficiently. Now, think about it this way. Uh, it is not necessary that all of this information is accessed by one single person in the company, right? It could be a group of people. It could be multiple teams within an organization. It could even be someone outside the company, right? Uh, let's say you are outsourcing your development to someone uh, outside the uh, outside the company, and that company is making software for you. Then essentially, they are accessing a lot of this sensitive information. So that's where uh, management all of all of this comes into play, and that's why you need. Uh, a, a specific solution to manage its secrets and a solution which manages this kind of secret uh, or these kinds of secrets is called a secrets management solution right um, 
Now let's flip the story to towards the real life and understand what are the key scenarios where all of this can come into picture for an organization and why is it that it has taken so much of relevance it you know today um, to give you a little bit of context in in the um, uh, traditional world uh, be before cloud computing and everything else became mainstream uh, the uh, the way that people used to access secrets was very different, right? So everything was confined to a specific traditional data center, one location, and you could physically go and access something, right? Because it was right in front of your eyes. Now it's not the case anymore. So that's where all of these scenarios comes into play. And first uh, scenario is essentially the move to cloud. So any company who has planned or is planning to move to the cloud uh, will typically undergo a scenario where all of this information is sitting in some kind of cloud, right? So that's where the first scenario for managing secrets comes into play. Second is when someone has adopted cloud and you need to manage multiple cloud environments or, or sort of a uh, environment where there is a multi-public cloud scenario in play, that's where this becomes all the more relevant and all the more important because let's assume the first cloud you use is AWS, Second one you use is Azure, then you have IBM and GCP as well, right? So all of these cloud providers, they would have their own solutions uh, for managing secrets, but it is not necessary that all of these solutions would work on the other cloud provider solution uh, platforms, right? So that's why multi-cloud becomes one of the most used and most uh, key scenarios where something like secrets management comes into play uh, very often. Next next up is uh, essentially hybrid environments. So a lot of companies still sticking to uh, traditional data centers for uh, a traditional private cloud architecture, uh, even modern day private cloud architecture to be able to achieve what they want to achieve without entirely moving to cloud. Banks, financial institutions, not everybody is in the public cloud today. Uh, and there are a lot of compliance regulations that comes into play uh, before they can actually achieve something like this, right? So for them, the best approach is to keep something hybrid where non-sensitive information could be in the public cloud, but they have something running on premise. So that's where the hybrid scenario comes into play. And this is one of the key areas where uh, a secrets management solution uh, can actually make a very big difference and add a lot of value. And last but not the least, uh, you could be dealing about dealing with uh, specific uh, sensitive data. Um, and one of the examples uh, for sensitive data could be uh, credit card numbers, right? Or, or uh, specific social security numbers for individuals or customers that a bank is managing. Now in that highly regulated industry, it's extremely important that this sensitive information is not exposed to the outside world in any way. And all of that information has to be taken care of from a centrally management, uh, centrally controlled manager, uh, which allows the whole secrets management to, uh, you know, be done efficiently and effectively. And none of this should go out, uh, you know, to, uh, to parties that shouldn't go out to. So in a nutshell, this is what uh, I wanted to cover off from the perspective of what is secrets, what kind of secrets exist in today's world and what are the key scenarios where secrets com can com come into play. In the following videos, I'll cover off uh, solutions which cover secrets management, so stay tuned for that. And uh, for everything else, all the uh, other solutions I've done about moving to cloud, uh, dynamic versus uh, modern day architecture, and the evolution of IT, evolution of DevOps, DevSecOps, uh, I've li linked the videos um, uh, in the description below. If you haven't already watched it, please do. And uh, other than that, please subscribe to my channel uh, for continuing to watch the content and uh, stay tuned. Thank you so much.